Uh, welcome to the show, the Fly Degenerates Pick Show, where we pick mm-hmm. three games against the spread, one one-point pick, one two-point pick, one three-point pick. As always, bet responsibly. These picks are for entertainment purposes only. Currently in the lead, still in the lead, holding on by a thread now. I guess I'm picking first. Mm-hmm. <sighs> My one point pick. I hate to do this. Oh, man. You know, yeah, I hate to do this, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the Titans and I'm going to take the points. I'm going to take like my guy, uh, Dobbs, or whatever the hell his name is, the <laughs> quarterback for the Titans. We're going to tighten up one last time. Put the goal, then you tighten up. Kick a field goal, then you tighten up. First and 10, then you tighten up. Interception, then you tighten up. Week 18, and I'm going to take the Titans for my one-point pick. I just feel like that's going to be – I think the Jags will probably win, but I think it'll be a one-score game, maybe a backdoor cover. Um, I think the Jags are hot, but I'm not – fully fully sold on them to be a dominant team like that that i could just expect them to cover against a team that's not that bad i mean mm-hmm. the titans aren't that bad mm-hmm. so yeah also the jacksonville jaguars are good now impossible i'm serious they're gonna make the playoffs two point pick two point pick i'm gonna take the colts at home the Ooh. colts Again, or are given two and a half points, and I think that they are just stupid enough to win that game. (laughs) I think that I mean, listen, they right now, like they win that game, they give their team in their division, the Texans, they're giving them the number one overall pick. With the uh, fourth choice in this draft, the Indianapolis Colts select Edgerin James, running back, University of Miami. It just feels like a game that the Colts will try to win for all kinds of foolish reasons that they shouldn't try to win. And I just think that they'll win that game by a field goal. That's my two-point pick. And my three-point pick for the fourth week in a row, I'm going to take the Jets. <laughs> take the Jets. Now getting two and a half points in Miami against uh, Skylar Thompson, I guess. And we saw how that worked out in MetLife Stadium. <laughs> Like a torpedo, Sauce Gardner coming through. So I'm going to take the Jets. I like it. All right, here we go. All right, my pick. With my number one pick, I'm going to go with the Carolina Panthers. Um, 3.5 against the Saints. Carolina Panthers with sharp teeth and claws. Um, Carolina, they've been playing better. Um... I think they're still trying out for the team next year, kind of like what I said with the Rams last but a week ago or two weeks ago. But yeah, I think they're still fighting for a playoff. They they got a little bite to them. Sam Darnold's still trying to showcase his ability. Uh, they run the ball well. Uh, Saints, if anything, that you know, I think they could run a little bit on the on the Saints. Um, so I just think Carolina will keep it close. I think actually they'll they'll flat out win that game. Um, I don't think the Saints are playing for anything. So, yeah, Carolina. Listen, it's a new wave that's going around, man. Everybody wants to see you dab. My, so that's my first one point pick. So I have a second one point pick. My second one point pick is uh, Minnesota. Um, seven, seven and a half over the Bears. Congratulations on making Fortnite with your new gritty dance. That's super cool. Right foot creep, ooh, walk on with that heat. Look around, stay low, make sure that... Plus, Fortnite is my favorite game of all time. Yeah, the Fortnite is one of my favorite games also, and it's definitely exciting to get one of my own touchdown dances in the game. The Bears, they, they're not even starting fields, which is the whole offense. The defense stinks. Minnesota, you know, they just... I feel like they still want to showcase a little bit. Um, you know, the yeah, I think the Bears are trying to 
trying to get a high draft pick at this point. So by default, I'm going Minnesota. Even though I think the number's steep, uh, you know, that hat, that hook scares me a little bit. But what, the, what are the Bears really going to do? You know? see the lingo. I see you. I see you. I see the lingo. You see the lingo, family. All right. <laughs> All right, with my uh, two-point pick, I'm gonna t- I'm gonna steal from my man H. I'm gonna go with the Titans. It's a brand new dance, and we about to go live. Tighten up, Nashville, rep the six one five. First you tighten two step, step, step to the right. Then you tighten two step, step, step to the left. Yeah, this 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 foot. This is a divisional game. It's for you know both teams are playing for something. So. Uh, it's a rivalry, it's, uh, you know, division rivalry. So it's, I'm assuming it's going to be closer than six and a half, you know? Tighten up, let's get tightened up. Tighten up, let's get tightened up. Sticking out my chest, beating on it like it's King Cow. Sticking out my chest, beating on it like it's King Cow. Tighten two steps, step, step to the right. Do the tighten two steps, step, step to the left. For my three point pick. I'm going with the Lions, Detroit Lions, giving four in the hook. Uh, we're going to kick you in the teeth, all right? And when you punch us back, we're going to smile at you. Green Bay, I think, is going to win the game. Green Bay is hot right now. Um, I ki- I'm kicking myself for not taking them last week because, um, you know, they didn't look great in Miami, even though they won. They didn't, we, we spoke about this. They didn't look good, great in Miami, but um, they looked better last week. And... Uh, I think the Lions are gonna obviously want to want to play hard and want to, you know, bang with the, with their rivals. So I think it's gonna be a close game. Um, Green Bay still wins, maybe two points. And we're gonna get up, and then it's gonna take three shots to get us down. And when we do, we're gonna take another hunk out of you. Before before long, we're they gonna be the last one standing. Alrighty. So that means I'm gonna take off right now with my one point pick, and I'm gonna take the L.A. Rams. Um, I think they're still playing. Uh, they're not really. They're not playing for anything. They have. If uh, they're also not playing for nothing because they don't even have their first round pick. So I think they'd be embarrassed to give the higher draft pick over to the Lions. Um, so you know, I said they're not. It's not like they. It's not. They're not keeping the pick. So it's not like they're playing for pick position. Oh, there's Russ Wilson. Oh! Reception. And it was. It was. It was. Oh, he went. Yeah, that's not what he wanted to cook. No, I think he burnt whatever he was cooking. No, so that that would be my one point pick. They have stuff to play for. It's not meaningless to them. I, I'm sure they don't want to be embarrassed giving up a like a top four pick or top five pick over to the Lions. Even though they, they won the Super Bowl, they had the last laugh, but still embarrassing considering they also gave up a quarterback. And uh, he may be on his way to the playoffs in Jared Goff. But getting six and a half, that's my one point pick to the Rams. Where is Clown? Oh, look what's happening! Kobe Dillon! He's just going to spider! Spider, spider, spider! Dashing through the snow for six more! For my two point pick. I'm gonna have to go with the Dallas Cowboys. Um, all of a sudden, they're still playing for the division after uh, Garner Minshew has lost two in a row with the Philadelphia Eagles. I know it's seven and a half points, but I think the Washington Commanders in a little bit of disarray. Uh, first, they said it was uh, Heineke playing, and then Sam Howell would get a, you know, would get some playing time. Um, rookie, obviously, I think he was a fourth round draft pick. Um, if he's going to start the game from the beginning, I can't see him having that much success. Dallas is going to be going on all all cylinders um, since they're still going to be alive for that. Um, uh, AF, uh, NFC uh, East title. What's up, y'all? Did you see the 
Dallas Cowboys! So that was my two-point pick, Dallas Cowboys, giving up a seven and a half points against the Commanders. Uh, for my three-point pick, I'm going to go with the Patriots, getting seven and a half. Um, I think the Patriots are just that kind of team that is always going to capitalize on situations like this where it's like, um, you know, the other team is going through stuff and they want to put their, they don't care. You know, that that's the way that they're coached. We got to coach better. We got to execute as players better. You know, we got to make sure we put ourselves in position not to be behind, okay, with that kind of, you know, deficit going in the second half. They're going to always try to put their foot on, on the, the opponent's throat. See? No questions. But either way, seven and a half points, that hook is what's going to keep me there. How you getting here, bro? I mean, even if they win seven seven points, uh, the Bills, I know that the Bills still have something to play for, and it's going to be emotional for them, but the Patriots always find a way to, um, you know, get in the mix. <laughs> hey, no questions, no questions. So seven and a half points, uh, that'll be my three-point pick, New England Patriots, as much as I hate it. Ha <laughs> ha.